Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm having a wildlife photography day, but I'm also testing out the uh, 180 to 600 zoom lens um, for wildlife photography. And uh, I'm in the Essex countryside, uh, a really good area for uh, birds of prey. So I'm going to be looking to photograph uh, red kites, buzzards, stuff like that, uh, which is going to be great test, uh, a really good test for this lens because um, I think, you know, I want to test the autofocus and I want to test how good this is really for birds in flight, which is probably the hardest thing uh, you're going to photograph in wildlife photography. Um, now, buzzards and red kites are not super fast, so there are uh, harder challenges, let's say, uh, but I think this is a really good place to start. So I'm going to look for uh, buzzards, uh, red kites and anything else that comes past, but this is a good spot uh, and I've seen a few uh, buzzards and one red kite so far so fingers crossed um, the, the uh, light is mixed actually we've got a cloud and uh, and some breaks in the cloud so what I'm hoping for again this will be a really good uh, time to do this because um, I'm hoping to get some shots in good light so nice directional sunlight and then some shots in poor light you know when it's cloudy so hopefully we'll get a mix of both A, I've been at it for quite a while now. I've got quite a few pictures. I've got uh, red kites, I've got buzzards, and I have to say the autofocus on this 180 to 600 um, Nikon zoom is superb. It's really snapping on. I have to say, when you're pointing at a blank sky, like now there's a buzzard, there's a buzzard up there now. Um, with my 200 to 500 um, Nikon lens, it used to hunt a little bit, or sometimes it took a while to to snap on and focus. With this lens, it's just snapping on so quickly it's really really good I love the uh, the fact that it's got a really um, sort of quick or very short throw so I can go from a, a wide angle well wide 180 to 600 with a, almost just a quarter of a turn now most of the time I'm going to be on 600 because these guys are quite a long way away um, and so I'm testing it at its longest uh, focal length uh, pretty much for this whole vlog uh, but it's brilliant the autofocus is snappy it snaps on really quickly it's got a lovely zoom action um, and then when I get back uh, and get these pictures oh buzzed over there again um, when I get back uh, and get these pictures on the computer then I can have a look at the image quality but I think the quality should be good this is a sharp lens and I'm on my Z8 uh, so it's a 45 million pixel uh, sensor I've got our image eye detect on uh, so bird eye tracking and it's tracking the bird and as I say the lens and camera combination it's really really snapping on quickly so s first impressions really uh, from doing this type of photography is just fantastic and I've got another buzzard coming over now so uh, I'm going to stop talking and uh, photograph this buzzard so I'll speak to you soon guys in, in fact there's two buzzards now can you, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but we've got two buzzards. Brilliant, that's fantastic. Two buzzards, uh, as I say, red kites. Another buzzard up there, so that's three buzzards now. This is such a good spot for birds of prey. So uh, I'll speak to you soon. So the sun's popping out now as well, which is good. So it means uh, I'm hopefully going to get some shots in good light. Uh, I've got some uh, shots in uh, cloudy conditions, but now the sun's popping out. So uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open and that way I'll be able to uh, compare the sort of shots that um, I've taken in, in soft lighting compared to the ones I've taken in, in harder lighting or, or sunny conditions. And they should be the better ones. They should look sharper and there should be more contrast. Uh, so really, uh, as conditions go, I normally don't like broken cloud because you know just as the wildlife turns up the sun often goes behind the cloud and you get soft lighting which doesn't make the picture look as sharp as it would do under hard lighting conditions but for, the for uh, today's test uh, that's no bad thing so uh, I've got yeah I've got a, uh, a I think a buzzer just coming in over there at the moment
What a day I'm having. Uh, I've just seen six buzzards in the sky all at the same time. Uh, I couldn't get all six in the frame because they were slightly dispersed, but I've had buzzards diving each other. I've had four buzzards in the frame. I've had one buzzard diving another buzzard. There's been so much action going on. It's been a really, really, really good um, day's photography so far. So um, it's great to be testing the lens out, but I'm really having a good time as well. This is a great, great action, wildlife action. So I think I've got quite a few good stills. Um, and I've got some good video as well. So obviously I'm gonna put that on this, uh, in this vlog. So uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. The build quality of this lens is really good. It feels really solidly built, um, and uh, I think it'll take uh, a little bit of punishment, uh, but it's not too heavy, which means I could comfortably hand hold this lens all day. And when you're doing birds in flight, hand holding the lens can be, it can be easier to track a bird in flight when you're hand holding than when the camera's on a tripod, even with a gimbal head. Now, I use a tripod and gimbal head most of the time because I shoot stills and video. And video is just better if it's uh, on, a, uh, on a gimbal head uh, because you get a much smoother pan in motion. But if I was just doing stills, as I say, I could comfortably hand hold this all day. And it's easy to track the motion of that uh, animal as it's flying through the sky handheld. All right, guys, I think that's about it. I've got some cracking shots in the bag. Um, I'm going to take them all home and have a good look at the quality now and, um, you know, how the autofocus performed, how many sort of a, a bang on in focus um, and what the image quality is like from this lens. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. Um, and if you have enjoyed it, uh, if you can give it a thumbs up, a like, that would be brilliant. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you can consider subscribing, that would also be fantastic, more the merrier. Um, I do lots of content like this, so wildlife uh, photography content, uh, looking at kits sometimes, you know, like in this case, the 180 to 600, uh, just out in the field taking uh, wildlife images and some tutorials as well, you know, um, how to take great wildlife in, uh, pictures. And I cover wildlife and macro photography. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll speak to you on my next one. So bye for now, guys. I've had a chance to have a good look at the images and uh, overall, uh, great, great quality. Uh, I took a lot on the day and um, generally across the board, um, almost every one of them is in focus. So the autofocus did a fantastic job. Uh, the image quality is good. Now, if you look at these uh, pictures of a buzzard, this first picture has had a really, really heavy crop. And when I've zoomed in, Okay, look, it's not pin sharp because the crop is massive, but the, the, the eye is, is got plenty of detail, the beak's got detail in it, there's detail in the wings. And uh, if you look at the second picture, this is what this first one was cropped from. It's a massive crop. And it's the same with the next two pictures. The first one is a, a huge crop again. And again, I've looked at these shots and they look, they look fine, you know? Uh, so I'm really pleased with the, the image quality. So the quality I'm getting from this lens and then the 45 million pixel sensor from the Z8, it, it makes a really good combination. So uh, all in all, yeah, I think I can totally rely on this lens and camera combination. And then if you um, look at the shot of the little egret, that's got a much um, uh, less um, aggressive crop. It's probably about, um, about I've cropped about 40% of the frame out and, I've, and the picture's taken in good light. So we've got a low ISO and not such a heavy crop. And there's loads of detail here. The eye is really sharp. There's loads of feather detail. So again, you know, under no, normal circumstances where you're not cropping massively, this combination of the... Um, the 180 to 600 zoom lens and the Z8 is a brilliant combination for wildlife photography. Now, one thing I did want to mention is uh, it is an F6.3 uh, lens, so the maximum aperture is F6.3, which does mean in low lighting situations, the ISO is going to be higher than if you've got, say, an F4 or an F2.8 lens, and that's something you need to uh, take into account. And um, the, I've got a couple of pictures here that I took, again, later on in the day. So I did uh, the birds of prey in the morning, and then I took a few extra pictures in the afternoon, the egret being uh, one of those, and then these pictures of the pheasant. Um, and that was taken in lower lighting uh, conditions, and the ISO was much higher. 
but there's still a good level of detail. Uh, I haven't done any noise reduction uh, on this file, but I could do um, if I needed to. Uh, but again, I'm really pleased with the, the combination of the lens and the camera. And then last but not least, uh, we've got a picture a couple, uh, of a mallard, and it's, it's really sharp again. And this was just a grab shot. Uh, I wasn't concentrating on uh, one area in this location. And these two mallards just scooted up into the sky and just spun the camera around. It locked on, it was really sharp, uh, and I've got a nice picture. So all I can say is, um, this is not a, a massively technical review here. This is just in the field uh, and my impressions, uh, my first impressions actually, of the 180 to 600 millimeter zoom lens, and obviously it's coupled with my, my Z8. And uh, my impressions of general wildlife photography out in the field, uh, so it's not scient scientific, I'm not sort of measuring the autofocus speed or uh, or using a um, almost like studio conditions here. This is out on location, like all wildlife photographers would be doing. And uh, all I can say is, is um, this is a combination that I'm gonna use uh, on many occasions. The lens is sharp, the autofocus is really responsive, it really snaps onto the subject, it's very accurate over um, a, you know, a, a multitude of um, picture taking uh, situations. Uh, and um, I think, you know, it's a, a great combination. And I bought this lens, I've not been lent it and I've certainly not been given it. So this is my lens and my camera, and it's a combination that I'll use, you know, uh, going forward. I will still use my 600 millimeter prime f4 lens because that will give me my ultimate quality, and I can use that with a 1.4 converter to give me a bit more of a reach. Um, in actual fact, you can use a converter with the 180 to 600, but I'm not sure that I will, to be honest. So yeah, um, great, uh, great lens, great. Um, Great camera combination, uh, and that's my sort of first impressions of the 180 to 600 millimeter Nikon uh, zoom lens.